Hey, how you doing? Let me know. Anyways, enough about you. This is the ERT YMX SG3. Clearly a Strat inspired model. And I'd like to thank ERT Guitars for sending it out and sponsoring the video. I do get to keep the guitar. All the thoughts are my own. Everything. Even if, uh, if I want to say, hey, I can do that. And that's things. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, super thanks. Check the links. I'm just being stupid. That's not hard. Check the links in the description if you want to get one. I have affiliate links, and uh, you can do that. Let's go top to bottom. Let's talk specs, and then we'll take a look inside it, and then we'll hear it. So start at the top here. It's got uh, some standard die cast tuners. You got a bone nut, and then coming down the neck. Neck is 25.5 inch scale length. Roasted maple with a satin natural back. Seems to be like a light roasted maple. It's got a compound radius, 7.25 goes to 9.5 got 22 medium jumbo stainless steel frets dual action truss rod wheel at the bottom and the body is called a book match roasted mahogany and trans blue like a satin finish really nice three ply mint pick guard five way switch three single coil ceramic pickups volume tone tone six point trim nine to 42 strings that's what you get this is what you get. Is this inspired by a Sir Classic S model? That's what I think, just based on the headstock and some of the features and the specs. So anyways, let's get some real-time measurements. We'll go check it out and we'll go look under the hood and we'll do all the stuff and things and all that fun stuff, the guitar stuff and things like that. So there you go. Let's go, let's do it. Are you excited? I'm pumped. Not really, but uh, let's take the weight. That's, here we go, seven. No, seven and a bit. Pretty light, and there's in kilograms for the rest of the world. I like light guitars. Have I ever mentioned that? It's my favorite thing to say. Okay, we'll take the uh, measurements of the pickups. There you go. Hey, move the light. 5.29. They should all be the same, and they're actually on the site. Ert Guitars has a site, and they list, they list it. 5.29, right on. So the third one should be the same. I'm gonna do it. Come on. It's gonna be off by one. Watch. Five point ah oh, ah five point four two. There we go. Loosen the strings, and then I'm gonna get some neck measurements. This is the nut and all the different formats. This is the fifth fret. It's a tongue twister. And then I do the twelfth fret, fret, threat, twelfth fret. And it's like uh oh, I didn't do the last one. That's too bad. There's uh, the neck thickness at the first, at the 12th. Why is that a hard word to say? And then the body thickness. Is it full thickness? I think so. I think it is. It was 1.7. Did I not show it there? Anyways, 1.7. All right, time to open it up. This is called Under the Hood. Check this out, though. Right? What do you think is doing that? It's not even plugged in. Any, any wagers? Any guess? Plastic. It's just some leftover pick guard plastic. Or some kind of plastic. I don't know. Maybe somebody left some plastic in there. Maybe it was a practical joke. Maybe this is the thing they do. They're like, watch this. We're going to make it scratchy knobs. Trick them. Okay. And if you didn't know this trick, grab two picks. Pop the, uh, the knobs right off. Two picks. Pop your knob. Zzz. There we go. Let's get this pick guard off. I always try to not take the strings off. That's my goal. Oh, first, let's show the trem bar, the whammy stick, whatever you call it. It's uh, one of these ones. That's just like, uh, it's got some kind of thing in there that grips it and uh, no thread. So it's a grip. Anyways, yeah. So I just loosen the strings and then 
try to maneuver, maneuver this out. It was tougher because there's 22 frets, so there's like a bit of overhang. And then we're gonna take it, flip it over, we're gonna see what's inside. This is what's inside. No shielding paint unless they used invisible shielding paint. And here's the neck pickup. I like that they have the sticker on it and it's labeled. N stands for neck. M stands for middle. B stands for bridge. A nice bright color wiring. Wiring's fine. Looks good. Uh, this is one of these PCB cheap switches. You can feel it. You can feel when they're like that. And here's the pots, full size pots. And then got a ground wire going to the middle. I've never seen that before. Uh, there's the truss rod wheel. And you can see the shininess of the fretboard. And here's a yellow marshmallow that they turned upside down and wrote numbers on it. Okay, let's get that back in. I wish I could do that fast in real life. I also pulled off the plastic while uh, I was doing this part. Okay, what's next? You tell me. We're going to take off the back access plate. Okay, plate on or off? Leave a comment. What's the cool thing? What do the cool kids do these days? Cool, cool kids don't play strats, right? Nobody does. Oh, you can really see the um, translucency of the blue finish. It's cool. Looks like a two-piece body. Unless, uh, unless there's more, but I, I see two. Looks like a split down the middle. Stick that back on. All right, I'm ready for the next part. The next part is super exciting. I don't remember what it is, but here we go. I'm just dusting and cleaning and, oh, it's the end. Okay, I'm gonna be playing everything through this Fender Princeton. It's got a 12 inch Cannabis Rex. And uh, if I do any pedals, you'll see them on screen.
Okay, you saw it, you heard it. Maybe you've got technology to smell it. I don't know what that means. So, what do I think? Pretty much the same reaction I had with the Tele style model. I did a video on that. I'll put it in the cards. I'll put it in the description. Uh, solid overall. Let's talk pros and cons. I will mention when Ert sends a guitar. This is the second one I've received. It's sent directly from Amazon. They aren't handpicked because I'm doing a video on YouTube. So that's worth noting because you should get a similar experience when you get one. And I say similar because there's always, you know, there's always a chance of issues. It happens. I've had issues with guitars. Anyways, let's talk pros and cons. What do I like about it? Really nice satin neck. The neck is really comfortable. I like the output jack being on the bottom rather than in the pickguard. It's nice and light. It feels solid. Uh, the pickups sound good. And the frets are, once again, amazing. They just do a lot of work on these, these frets. They're so smooth. What don't I like? Electronics feel cheap. Not necessarily the, uh, the pots, but the switches. These PCB switches, I just don't like them. The glossy rosewood fretboard, that's something interesting. I don't know if that would be a pro or con to somebody. It doesn't really bother me, but maybe it would bother somebody. It's worth noting. So overall, really great. Definitely recommend it. Great value guitars. This is the second one I've checked out, and it's been the same thing. Like if you compare prices and features, it's it's a good value. So um, And again, if you're... Did you understand that? If you're, if you're, if you're looking at getting one, I'll have affiliate links in the description. If you want to get one and if you're looking at getting one and stuff like that things that doesn't sound very good um, anything else to note it's a bolt-on did I mention that Michael bolt-on anyways that's enough from me what do you think about these Ert guitars let me know let me know oh I just want to mention one thing Ert is not the person's name I confirmed that with uh, the guy I'm dealing with at Ert it's uh, the name it's on the website I'll put it up on the site here you can put it up on the screen you can see it it's electroacoustic art it's that's all it is so that's the name confirmed now uh go play guitar and have fun and i'll see you in the next video take care why am i staring at you